is my mother's writing. I've picked up her trail. What is she up to? Obviously, she wants to lure Mortimer somewhere, but, but where? The only clue she's left for Mortimer is a stone sword. It must be intentional. It looks like a decorative sword, like from a statue, for example. And judging by the state of it, I'm guessing it's been left outside for a long time. I have absolutely got to find out where it came from. table of alchemical elements. So, Lord Mortimer also studies alchemy? It seems like he's interested in everything. Honey, the remedy of the gods. A chest with a motif representing the alchemical symbol of fire. chest with a motif representing the alchemical symbol of fire. Hmm, that must be for writing the homing pigeon messages. A skeleton by the name of Gustav, if the plaque on the plinth is anything to go by. Mortimer's given a name to his anatomy skeleton. <laughs> That's morbid. Oh, his right hand is missing. These are feathers. Pigeon, probably. Looks like... Obsidian or onyx. It must weigh a ton. Strange. I don't recognize the alphabet. I wonder where the pictograms are from. It isn't Egyptian or Hebrew. There are two inscriptions on the sides as well as on the top. No way to know what's underneath. Absolutely no idea what it's for, but I find this cue fascinating.
something strange about this table. The Little Surgeon's Perfect Collection. What kind of experiments does Mortimer carry out here? It's a dissection table. So Mortimer does autopsies here on his desert island. But who is he doing autopsies on then? Preservation using formaldehyde. Just as disgusting as ever. Rusty old nails. They're about 20 centimeters long. Some goat skulls, chicken legs. Now we all know what that's for. I'm a little surprised at Mortimer. And it seems as the type to be organizing little pagan parties, invoking occult powers, and dancing naked under the full moon. I'm more used to seeing cheap charms like this sold by charlatans in Pré Saint Gervais. Look, a pack of tarot cards. Has he been reading the cards? Mortimer? <laughs> that would surprise me. strange about this table. A skeleton by the name of Gustav, if the plaque on the plinth is anything to go by. Mortimer's given a name to his anatomy skeleton. That's morbid. His right hand is missing. Preservation using formaldehyde. Just as disgusting as ever. It's locked. Weakness of the Human Psyche by Gihem Trimor. Hmm. He says, It is possible to drill an idea into someone by constant daily repetition until the mind gives in. Oh, shit. How am I going to get out of here now?
This looks like the same mechanism as the one on the other side. This note is about a meeting with Lord Mortimer. There's no doubt about it. All right, I need to find out where the sword that came with it's from in order to find Mother. You're choking, I hope. Don't tell me you've done that. Really? How do you expect me to guess? Oh, for God's sake, just ask them. But I've got no time to lose.
I am sorry, sir, but the conference room is under preparation and is consequently inaccessible to guests. Could you perhaps help me? What can I do for you, sir? Where did this sword come from? From the garden, sir. That sword belongs to one of the statues in the garden. Thank you very much. Don't mention it, sir. The sword probably came from this garden, but what could it have been used for? Ariadne. In Greek mythology, she helped Theseus get through the labyrinth. Hmm. Looks like there's a crack in the region of the heart. I guide this sword that will kill the monster. Let's see. A crack as long as my finger. going to happen if, if I've got it wrong. Ariadne. In Greek mythology, Ariadne helped Theseus out of the labyrinth. I'll try something else. I wonder what this kiosk is doing in the middle of the garden. Too cramped to be able to do much. Well, there must be something going on there. What is that? Looks like a sort of opening mechanism. but it's booby-trapped. There's a little hole at the fingers. I'm pretty sure if I get it wrong, I'll, I'll get pricked. Damn you, Mortimer. Reminds me of traps I studied in Egyptian tombs. Pasiphae, daughter of Perseus, and sister of Circe. She married Minos and became the queen of Crete.
she has no cracks. All right, let's continue anyways. Well, Monsieur de Richet, what brings you here? I just happened to be passing. Of course you were. Say no more. I will take my leave. I certainly don't want to be mixed up in your plans. Here's the famous Ariana's thread, thanks to which, if I remember rightly, Theseus avoided getting lost in the labyrinth. Theseus, son of Aegeus, he's the one who slayed the Minotaur. I seem to recall he took the decision to confront the Minotaur. He killed the beast, but if it weren't for Ariadne's help, he would have been trapped in that labyrinth forever. In short, Yet another hero who wasn't the sharpest knife in the drawer. Okay, okay, I'm, I'm probably being a bit harsh. I mean, we do owe him the foundations of Athens. In other words, the Republic. Render therefore unto Caesar what is Caesar's. Looks like a crack has been made on his torso. It's as long as a finger. I'd say between six and eight centimeters.
Hmm. It looks like this slab moves. Well, I wouldn't be surprised if there was a passageway underneath it. It's up to the just to deliver judgment. Truth unlocks all possibilities. Oh, what's wrong? Either I'm imagining things or my hand was pricked. It had poison on it. My head, I feel hot. Pasiphae, daughter of Perseus and sister of Circe. She married Minos and became the queen of Crete. She has no cracks. Deliverance alone suffices not to wash away my humiliation. All right, well, let's continue anyways. Theseus. Let's try something else instead. Asterion. It is rare to see him like this. In general, he's represented with the head of a bull, with the features of the Minotaur. The famous son of Minos and Pasiphae. statue has a crack in it. The crack is thin and about as long as a finger. I should be able to thrust in my sword. Right. We'll soon see. Mortimer, I bet it's booby-trapped. There's a little hole at the fingers. I'm pretty sure if I get it wrong, I'll, I'll get pricked. Damn you, Mortimer. Reminds me of traps I studied in Egyptian tombs. No, Mortimer, I bet it's booby-trapped. There's a little hole at the fingers. I'm pretty sure if I get it wrong, I'll, I'll get pricked. Damn you, Mortimer. Reminds me of traps I studied in Egyptian tombs.
Ariadne. If I recall the Iliad, Ariadne is none other than the daughter of Minos and Pasiphae. She was in love with Theseus and helped him in his quest to kill the Minotaur in return for a promise of marriage if he defeated the monster. She gave him a reel of thread so that he could find his way back through the labyrinth, which was famous for being unsolvable. But once the beast was slain, the gallant was quick to abandon her on an island. Turns out heroes are not what they once were. Carmelite water. They say that if you drink this, it gives you a real boost. Icarus. A son of Daedalus and Nocrate. Impossible to mistake him with those wings. After flying too close to the sun, he came unstuck and he fell to his death. <laughs> Pity. Hey, there's no crack here. Well, let's keep going. Minos, son of Zeus and Europa. If I remember correctly, he was the king of Crete. Married to Pasiphae, he had many children, including the famous Ariadne, whom history remembers for her thread. Hey, there's a crack in that statue. This gesture sealed his fate. is in the region of the heart. It's a thin crack as long as a finger. A blade could easily enter. Asterion. Minos. The crack is in the region of the heart. Minos.
Again? I... You can't be serious, Manuel. You know that's not going to happen. You must leave me alone now. I have agreed to everything. Even to... Agreed? I wasn't aware you had a choice. What's going on here? I... What now? What else must I do to win back my freedom? Obey me. Now get out! What was that? That's the third time in three days. <gasps> Let's see if you're you're in there, mother. Amber crystals. Bandages? Hmm, someone's been patching themselves up. Looks like my mother took advantage of being in hiding to change her bandages, huh? This is silk. She must have used her own clothes. Hmm. There are patches where the blood isn't totally clotted. That's a good sign, right? She changed them recently, which proves she's still looking after herself and still believes in her chances. Well, I'd love to tell her to keep hanging in there. Drachma. <gasps> Damn it, Mother. Now what's happened? Don't move! Wait, I'm not armed. Who are you? Good God, Mother, what have Tell you- Tell me who you are! <laughs> 